2nd of January, beautiful evening. Um, I thought I'd just talk about what we're doing at Kennels in the next few months um, by showing you each day what's happening. So today's main job has been doing a bit of work on the um, tree because it's a pain in the arse having a tree right across the road um, and I need to get it cleared. Plus the fact it's a lot of really nice uh, beech wood which will be super for all sorts of jobs and also for firewood in the coming months. Um, yeah, so at the present time, it is about minus two. Just fed some of the animals, done the pigs and the chickens and got to find the geese. I think they've gone off up in the top woods, so they'll be on the pond. Um, but Happy New Year, everybody, and uh, we'll keep you posted on progress. So I'll do lots of little videos in the coming weeks. Um, some of them might even be instructional. Most of them won't be. So this morning we're off to look at a tree that came down from the woods um, in, the, in the storm just recently. Well, I say recently, it was in October. And it's now the 2nd of January and it's been blocking the track ever since and I really need to get it sorted out. So <laughs> so we've got to go backwards because um, because the road's blocked and I want to I want to lock the car in the right direction, point the car in the right direction so that we can then take the trees and chuck them in the boot as we're going along. So this is us going backwards. And it's about 400 yards. I don't know how many metres that is. How many metres is 400 yards? Earth. Anyway, it's a long way. And I'm going to stop filming now and just drive. Okay, so here's the tree. It's a beech tree. And all this stuff is the stuff that we've got to get shot of this morning before we can get anywhere near the tree. If you look up there, there's a root ball that's about 20 foot high and the tree comes way down and lands in there. And this is the road, this bit here. So the first job is just to trim back all the crap and then we can work out what we're going to do. The big challenge is dropping this here at that height. So I think we're gonna to have to cut probably there and drop it low and cut it low because I don't want to be cutting up there with a chainsaw. So we'll start on that. <laughs> Okay, so this bit here, there's tension on that. So there's weight coming onto that from way over there. So I'm going to leave that for a bit because that's going to be springy. I think the easiest job is just to get into this to start with. And then we'll start taking those limbs off at that top end and work our way down. Uh, yeah. Okay, so we've now chopped a great chunk out of this bit here just there to clear it. Um, two things I've learned on the way, the pressure on the, or the compression and the uh, tension on the branches, I think the compression is the underneath bit. So cutting up and round is a lot less dangerous than cutting straight down because it springs. And the other thing that happens is that that big heavy one, because of the weight of it pushing down, and I think it's to do with the angle of it as well, on the hill, went down like a ton of bricks, but then it is probably a ton of wood. Um, so we've had a good bite at it. That's enough for today. It's cold and we've got to empty it all out yet. One little thing that we have got here that's worth looking at while we're in the freezing cold winter. This white stuff, what's it called, Eth? Is it hoarthrost? Frost. That's frost that builds up on the water crystals on the tree. And it looks like cotton wool. So there you go. 
That's day one of the tree project. Mm -hmm. 